want to fail. That is what we came to do, Jesus. This is what we came to do. We stand on your mountain and we say thank you. Father, we came to bow. We came to worship. Oh, 
to be in the house. Yes. I see an when you are here, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Yes, I am a bone, some shed in the Amen. Yummy, why am I? Why am I? What a bone, some man. Yummy, why am I? Aha. Why am I? Aha. I want to hear the chest. Yummy, why am I? I want to hear you sing it.
of God, we are all blessed. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is somebody glad? Are you happy? Oh, I cannot see your happiness. I can't see it. If you're happy, I want you to be on your feet and make a loudest noise unto the Lord. Make the loudest noise you can unto the Lord Jesus, unto the Adonai, unto the Elohim, unto the Sabaoth, unto the Lord Almighty. Amen. May the Lord Jesus bless you, somebody. A powerful amen unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe throughout the week the Lord has given you a testimony. I know people are here to testify. So if you are here with a testimony, I want you to come and give it unto the Lord gladly unto the Lord. Amen. Clap as they come, please. Amen. If I'm here, I thank God for my life. There are a lot of things that happened to me in the week. Amen. On Tuesday, you know our steps. We used to climb. I thought I was perfect in that. <laughs> but last Tuesday, I came from up there. I fell from it. And my leg was cut, so I thought it's nothing. But when the day break, no, it, in the night, I saw that my leg was swelling. So the brother said, ah, why you didn't tell us early? Because I was thinking that when I tell them, they will pull it to pain me. So <laughs> I didn't tell them, but in the evening, I was suffering. And a day break, I saw that it was still big. But thank God, my leg is intact. Amen. I can stand on it. And also on Wednesday, after preaching, I was going to preach. After preaching, I felt a sharp pain in my tummy. So I couldn't walk from there. So I asked them to take a car so that I come here. When I came, I said, maybe I want to ease myself. When I passed here, every place became dark. Every place was dark. I couldn't see anything again. And I was just in the bush. I was just standing. But I see myself running. I was standing. But I see myself running. And I shouted, I said, Jesus, please, this body is yours. Take control. And I felt that I was okay. I could see things clear. But when I stand again to walk, I see the darkening again. But a few moments when I prayed, I became okay. So I'm here. Thank God that there are so many things that the devil brought in our lives. But God has delivered us. And I want to thank him for our life, the church, and our leader that he has given to us at this end time. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, 
Wechwe muka kwa medi mpa ibo ni bo mpa yeche ywa de wanyama inkisi inkisi bihu. Ebe du ube bino me yima jine fuiso. Se mi nimse e radia ni mi kone mahu e radia odone mano. Eda su kwa sa mpa ibo mu. Me kaisi na oche ni mu ni e bo mpa ibo ni devotion. Na apostol rezi topic bi. Ena mi bisa ni se. Se u bo mpa ya. As I said, what's her repeating pie bonana? An apostle say, Adam Bains now a bomb pie and now a day radiasin. As I always will be dear one, no becais and pie bona, as I would done us because a radian yasum, wait see any old kind, a brainy nano, and was I would done us. He said, You don't have to repeat the prayer, but you have to thank God for the prayer. So the following day, she, she spoke with uh, Evangelist and Brody. And she said, I won't follow those steps. And I say, me injani me kano like obi na me friendo. And I ni pakono like ni kase mu no no se me continue se me friendo kwa. Me checking up on that person. So she was following this person, and the person was giving an attitude, and she said she wanted to give up, but Evangelist Claude told her not to give up. But that moment, no, nani pana ati like wa answer ne me 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 request na me request here no wanya answer ma wa sending me message ha like na me me ni me phone nusu ko off. Nti nye Evangelist ne ma me sa we na arrest arrest her na. And I wouldn't even go through my phone and call the person. My friend was, uh, Rosina, I, uh, I sent you a message and I called you. Your line wasn't going through. So go back to your phone and call me back. So the prayers, she prayed and the expectation. Ella, Ella, my friend, Nipano, it's me, Jina, ha. Me, Jina, ha. Me, Shabon, crying, say, Samu, bomb, paya, to your papa. Wama yet like wama yet ya reshe muse ya bomb paya ese muse radio hatasrono otiye ya mpai bomb. Oh, she will want to encourage anyone praying that as you pray, believe as pastor has taught us that you will receive. Na niye ya mi wama se endra no pa ya ko mi ko market. To her greatest shock, yesterday she went to the market. Abraham mi di juani ni nevi ano. As she was done doing all those. Anya mane dosu. The things were plenty. Me me shana me swadu kwa ina nua. Sani me ya me di beti na kwe mudi abano ne e ya me di mkakwa. She couldn't take those loads to the house. It would be a bad thing. It's me kache ra de se. She told God. Me say I say me do kwa una me fuka ano. Ma me nia space ah e beti nia mano na me nia baby at na even though me transportation ni swano ne fa me do baby ameko. So I pray to God that even as my load is plenty, please grant me. Uh, this favor grant me a car that I can have enough space to drop my things and sit and down. And God answered her. Sat down. Sat down. Sat down. Sat down. So her prayer <laughs> didn't bring anybody to sit by her. She bought the seat <laughs> spiritually. It's even true. But I'm busy and hollow. So she was happy that God <laughs> answered her prayer. And the Lord loved me. And he listened to me. You might not understand me. Or it might be small. But to me, it is a quick thing to me. It is precious to me. It is precious to me. I thank God. Daddy, God bless you. God bless you. Mommy, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless the church. Honoris Coast. Charlie added the Honoris Coast. Honoris. Exactly. Hallelujah. He's looking so handsome. Charlie. I'm looking like a bushman because hey. I'm a bushman. <laughs> yeah. Only one. Is this one is bush green? Hey, it's what yeah, push. Come on, flat, come on, flat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. 
the Lord has been good to me. In fact, this week has been very, 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 I see the week like a long year because sickness hold me down and I couldn't move the way I used to move. I was shocked. In fact, I was asking myself, hey, is it me? He <laughs> <laughs> will do a restitution. It's a new family. <laughs> because they were preparing okro and banku, and I could, I could not even hear the smell. When I hear the smell, it's like I want to vomit. See, hey. hey. But the Lord has been good. Before the week end, I'll be able to eat two banku. Yes. <laughs> Reinvestment. <laughs> so hey, what time did you do that? Oh, that was Friday evening. Yeah, hey, man. No, oh, no, no. It was it was in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the morning around 10 a.m. Yes. And I said, ah, I have to get back. Yes. By his grace. The Lord has healed me. You know, the Lord has healed me. I was very weak, but the Lord has healed me. So I am grateful unto the Lord for how far he has brought us. And especially to enter this year to the 10th month. It is a wonderful thing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. So I am grateful unto the Lord, to the family, to our father in the Lord, our mother in the Lord. May the Lord bless all of us. May the Lord bless all of us. Let's keep our faith in the Lord. The time in which we are now, we are not in a time for things to change to our favor, but we should pray that the Lord lead us through. So may the Lord lead me through as I am weak, as I am strong. May the Lord lead me through. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today, I just want to give thanks to the Almighty for my life, for the Papa and the Mama of the house, and everybody. We thank God. This is one week that we came back from Benushi. We just want to give glory to God. I went to La Pag. That was Tuesday. I wanted to deliver a, a bottle I'm sending to a, one of the police guys. So as I, I enter into the second lane of where he lives, all of a sudden, there were two, uh, they are double parking. So immediately I wanted to turn. Then it's like my car hit uh, someone at the back, the, the, the car at the back. And all of a sudden, I could feel like I didn't know what happened. And I drove the car with speed. Meanwhile, I didn't step on the, the, the asteroid. No, I didn't, spe I, I didn't step on the brake. Uh, the, like I was stepping on the brake slowly. All of a sudden, I realized that I, I was stepping, I was like, I don't know what happened. Then all of a sudden, with speed, heavy speed that drove out from the whole area. I don't understand. So when I got to the junction and the man said, hey, what kind of speed is that? And I realized that I didn't speed. I, my, my leg was on the brake. So how come, how did I turn? I was so surprised. And the, the, lead, the guy said, I've knocked his car. All of a sudden, nothing happened to his car. And he said, I should go. And I, I asked myself, is God that saved me out of those things? Had it not been him, there are double cars parked over there. I should have hit one and something might have happened to me. Because La Paz, you can imagine how they drive carelessly. So I just, as I'm standing here today, I just want to give glory to God for him taking me out of this accident. I just want to magnify his name. I want to sing one song. It's just short. No see ma ube manye ye ko manye No see ma ube manye ye ko manye No te si a te si he futo do de ma je jio No see ma ube manye ye ko manye Hallelujah. Okay, who told you I can't translate? Okay, let me try. I think she said, whatever God wants her to know, 
to be not he she be amen Charlie wow clap for me I'm good I'm good very soon I'll be a votarian Charlie I, I don't know people can be extra nice though, unless when it comes to birthday you know Jesus Christ. Wow, wow, Hallelujah. Wow, wow. Hallelujah. Amen. En ce jour, permettez-moi de parler français. Je me sens à l'aise aujourd'hui. Vraiment. Hallelujah. On peut s'asseoir. Ok, please sit down. Ce matin, je veux dire merci au Seigneur. This morning, I want to say thank you, Jesus. Parce que hier, il a permis que j'ai un an de plus. Because yesterday he permitted me to have an extra year. Je veux lui rendre toute la gloire. I want to give him all the glory. Parce que c'est pas donné à tout le monde. Because it's not given to everyone. Et je veux dire merci à papa et à maman, à tous les pasteurs. I want to say thank you to my father, Pastor Philip Macaulay, and my mommy, mommy Amanda Macaulay, and all the pastors. Qui ont été là hier. That was present yesterday. Vraiment, hier je parlais avec ma sœur Sidonie. Yesterday I was speaking with my sister Sidonie. Je dis à Sidonie. And I said, ah, sister. C'est pas la nourriture là seulement que moi je veux. I don't only want the food. Mais le seul fait de voir toute ma famille, les pères, les membres de l'église être là avec moi. But to see c'est all the church and my, uh, my parents and the Lord and everyone there, that is the greatest joy. Alors hier quand j'ai vu la sœur Paulina, sister Peace, sister Rose, yeah, yesterday when I saw sister Paulina, sister Rose, sister uh, Peace and everybody. Vraiment, je me sentais enfin en famille. I really felt a family. Alors, je veux bénir le nom du Seigneur pour cette grâce. I want to thank God for this grace. Alors, je veux chanter cette chanson qui est en français. Qui Mimim, dit, pas sur Beppo. And I want to sing a song. Je loue ton nom éternel. Seigneur, je célèbre ta bonté. Que le joie te vit en moi. Que le joie te vient pour nous sauver. Tu viens du ciel sur la terre. Montrer la voie de la terre à la croix. Veillez pour nous.
Permit me to say something. De la semaine lorsque je priais, Within this week as I was praying, pendant que je priais, as I was praying, le Seigneur mettait comme ça dans ma bouche de prier pour les lampes qui sont éteintes. God pleaded in my heart to pray. Et je me suis, après je me suis posé la question mais pourquoi la lampe a éteinte? And afterwards I prayed concerning that prayer. I asked. Et je me suis souvenu du, ma, du passage de Matthieu 25. And si vous vous rappelez les sages, les cinq femmes sages et les cinq femmes folles. Alléluia. And she came to Matthew chapter 25. Et je priais. And I prayed. Je priais. And I prayed. Il dit Seigneur, allume les lampes qui sont éteintes. And she prayed that prayer. Parce que tu vas penser que le fait que tu parles en langue, le fait que tu reçois des messages, ta lampe est toujours allumée. Mais c'est faux. Jésus-Christ revient bientôt. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Regardez un peu ce qui se passe dans le monde. Look at what is happening Regardez un peu ce qui se passe dans les églises. Look at what is happening in the church. Regardez un peu. Look Et dans la même semaine, après avoir fini de prier, le Seigneur me donne un songe. With him, same week, the Lord gave me a prayer, a en, me dream. en me montrant des pasteurs. Show me the pastor. The, the pastors. J'étais avec les pasteurs. She was with the pastors. Mais bien avant ça, merci Saint Esprit de Dieu. Thank you. Can you pray? Yes. Nous étions dans une grande salle. We were in a big hall. Et avec un homme qui était de l'autre côté. And there were some that were out before. Uh, Je ne sais pas combien étaient. I couldn't remember the numbers we were in the room there. Et celui qui était de l'autre côté, the one who was at the other side, il y avait plein de corbeaux noirs autour de lui. There was a plenty, uh, Et nous étions de l'autre côté. Crow, crow Mais il y avait un combat. And there was a fight, a battle. Mais c'est comme si cet homme-là se levait contre un autre homme. It was like that man who was at the other side was qui against tenait, another one. Qui tenait quelque chose dans sa main. Who was holding something in his hand. Et je me posais la question, mais pourquoi? And I was asking why. Et ces corbeaux là se levaient contre, contre nous qui étions de l'autre côté. And the was coming against we were, were at the other side. Et je me suis réveillé tout doucement et je me posais la question and qu'est-ce que ça signifie? Slowly and I was asking the meaning of the dream. Et je recevais dans mon esprit comme ça que and I in my spirit, Il y a des choses qui sont en train de venir dans les églises. Uh, th- there are some things who, who are coming into the churches. Un, la distraction. One le deuxième, j'ai oublié, mais j'ai dit ça déjà à maman. The second, I forgot more, but I've told, I remember that told mom. Je vous en prie, vous et moi. I'm pleading you and me. Prie à ce que le Seigneur allume ta lampe. Pray that may the Lord rekindle your light. Parce que tu ne sais pas dans quelle position tu te trouves. Because you don't know in which position you are, you are in. Prie à ce que le Seigneur continue d'allumer ta lampe. Pray so that may the Lord keep your fire. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. May God bless us. Man, what she said, the prayer, she said, she said that the law, when she was praying, the law told her to pray for those kind of those lamps who are quenched. She should pray for them so that the law should rekindle them. That's what she said. When she was praying, she received to pray for the pastors. Amen. So I want to take the opportunity to bless God for this new month we are in. Because it's by God's grace we enter this new month. And everybody is okay in good health. We bless God. And I want to bless God for the mission we went to in Togo and in Benin. It's by God's grace. Yes, they have given law so that we in Togo we couldn't do the program as we were expecting. But by God's grace, we do what God has sent us for. So we bless God and especially me. I'm blessing God for the opportunity was given to me to go and prepare the land for our father to come and do the mission. Truly, I've learned a lot through that mission. So, I'm blessing God for the life of our father who have trusted me and sent me as a leader. It's, it was a great privilege and honor to me. So, father, I bless God for your life. May God bless you for trusting me and giving me the opportunity to show what I've learned. Truly, I've learned through this mission a lot. May God bless you. And may God bless all the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you gave a testimony, I want you to be on your feet so we can pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for granting good health unto your children. I thank you for saving them from the enemy's trap. I thank you for delivering them from accidents. I thank you for providing for them. I thank you for granting another year unto one. 
Lord, we thank you and we know that you keep us and you grant us the grace each and every time. We bless you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Somebody, I hope you brought money the month of October. Somebody told me that it's color orange and orange is not far from brown. You know what I'm trying to talk about. Orange is not far from brown. So, hey, one city is there. One city is orange. <laughs> no, bring your 50 gardens. Come and give your best to God today. I'll give an offering. <laughs> so let us call the, the choir. Let us call the choir to lead us into a time of offering. Amen. According to the grace of God given to us, the church oasis of God has been found according to the church of Smyrna in the book of Revelations chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. Did you come with your Bible? Lift it up high above your head. Let us see it. High above your head. I hope you are not holding a diary. God bless you. Somebody, some, some of us, our Bibles are so new, it's like we are not reading it. Pastor has a certain Bible, it's in my room. 
The Bible, you can see that the Bible has really suffered in pastor's hand. <laughs> and I'm happy that Bible is in my room. May they bond direction. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. So, according to the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 8 to 11, the, and to the angel of the church in Smyrna writes, these are the words of the first and the last, the Son of God, who died and came to life again. I know your sufferings and your poverty, and how you are blasphemed and slandered by those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. And do not believe and truly honor the God whom they claim to worship. Fear nothing that you are about to suffer. Be aware that the devil is about to throw some of you into prison. Somebody, are you listening to the words? He said, be aware that the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested in your faith. And for ten days, you will have tribulation. Be faithful to the point of death. If you must die for your faith, and I'll give you the crown of life. Verse 11, he who has an ear, let him hear and heed what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcome will not be hurt by the second death. Amen. May the Lord Jesus bless you. I want us to sing this hymn, and I want us kindly to be on our feet. Let us sing this hymn. Amen. Immortal, invisible, oh God, only wise, enlightening, assessing, hid from our eyes, most blessed, most Sister Michelle to sing a song to invite uh, Minister Claude, okay? Minister Claude to sing a song to glorify the name of the Lord as you prepare your tithe when he's done. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And through this week, I've also come across a, a hymn that the words have worked on me a lot. It means a lot, especially the chorus. The chorus say that I will love him far better in days of yours. I will serve him more truly than ever before. And as he bids me, I will do whatsoever it 
off. And I will be a true soldier. And I will die at my post. And the question is, are you ready to die at your post? As the Lord have bid you. Amen. He pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. Hallelujah. That's the title of the song. The song says, It pays to serve Jesus. It pays to serve Jesus. And truly, I speak from my heart. And continue to say that He will always be with us if we will do our part. Amen. And there's nothing in this wide world can pleasure afford. And there is peace and contentment in serving the Lord. Amen. He pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He will always be with us if we do our part. There's nothing in this world or can pleasure afford. There's peace and contentment in serving the Lord. So I love him far better than in the of your I'll truly I'll serve him more truly than ever before and I'll do as he beats me whatever they call I'll be a true soldier I'll die at my post I'll serve him more ever than in the of yours, I'll serve him more truly than ever before, and I'll do as he bids me, whatever the cost. I'll be a true soldier, I'll die at my post. It pays to serve Jesus, I speak from my heart. He will always be with us if we do our. be ready to die at your post because yes you have to die as a soldier at your post if you want to enter if you want to get there 
Hallelujah. The Bible says there is no soldier who is doing the work, the assignment they give him, and he's looking back. You have to be focused. Hallelujah. Yes. Wind, there is a wind carrying people away. But you have to stand firm and rooted in the truth that you will receive. And you have to be ready to die at your post. May God bless us. In Jesus' name. Ah, yeah, they are confusing me. So they pick it from the church. We didn't pick it from them. Wow. Then that's good. That was nice. Are you telling me the truth? The church didn't copy it from them. I think so. Uh, me, the first time I hear it, I hear it from a worldly man. But it's, it's a hymn written by who? See, this is not born again. Uh, look for the so that we can sing it well. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you for your children. Thank you for the opportunity you grant them to come to your house with all the tithes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray your blessing over their life as they obey you this way. In Jesus' name, I pray that next time as they return, they will give more because you bless them more. In Jesus' mighty name, that the mouth of the devourer is silenced and that which the caterpillars, the caca won't have eaten, will be restored to them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Is there a hymn? Sing it anyway. Let's, let's see. Is there a hymn? I got along with the set. The way you are defending the set. No, no. I, me, myself, I like it, but I want to know what I'm liking. I think I'm not wrong. Because it took me. I want to know what I'm eating. You see, you can't know who wrote the song. It's powerful. Is that? It's a human. Okay, but but man. <laughs> okay. We uh, are. Are you a human? It's not a human. Yeah. You have it there. Let me. Okay. Eh? That this is Agbajao from Ghana. Okay. Is that? I don't think it's. Ah, you see. It's not a human. person who wrote that song is born again. That one day. Because if a Christian will write that song, he will not say heaven know where we are going. Because a Christian we have to put words in the, the perspective. The words are heavens know how we will get. Ah, okay. Give me the words alone. We are going, heaven knows how, uh, heaven knows where we are going we will know we are there. We will get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. We know we will. It will be hard, we know. And the road will be muddy and rough. But we will get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. He knows we will. We are going. 
heaven knows where we are going, we will know we are there. Now, which heaven? No. Because there are many heavens. you say a soldier um, be a good soldier and die at your post that, that's powerful do you have good soldiers in the house no soldier in the house amen God bless you for, for coming to church week I've been trying to bring um, our mind to some things. Um, a lot of things as uh, sister the birthday girl Michelle have said, he said a lot of things in French. Like why she was praying, she was ins inspired to pray for people's their light has quenched. And she said that you can be in church, you can be hearing the word of God, but your light is quenched. Not only that, there are times you can be doing the work of God, but your light is quenched. Remember that when Jesus come to take the church, Jesus is responding, will be responding to light. Are we all together? Is anybody here you have, you have ever had a vision of the world before? You have seen the world through the eye of Jesus. If you see the world now, please pay attention, okay? Oh, Ghana is so hot. Especially here. I think our roof is there. Have you, is anybody here you have seen the world spiritually before? Oh, okay, you have a head. Somebody have seen the world spiritually before. You have a head. Now, how, normally how is it like? It's dark. Right? Oh, talk to me. It's dark. You know, Jesus made a statement concerning the world that is the light that shine into the world. Yes. Take, take microphone. Amen. Amen. There was a time I had a dream. And a door was open in heaven. And it was not many, but everywhere was dark. Now, in the darkness, there was a small, small light. Do you who know what is those lights? Eh? Speak in the microphone. The internet church wants to be part. Mm -hmm. The true believer. The true believers. The question is, am I in it? Are you in it? I don't know how, whether we know the population of the so-called Christians in the world. Now, when the angels of God are coming to pick us, I do they are not coming to you because you have praises or whatever you are doing. They are assignment, they are responding to light. They are picking people who have light. Watch me here. Watch me here. Anybody know about farming? Now, when you have farm, let's use example tomatoes. But what do we use? Mango. Let's use mango. 
pay attention, please. Paco say mango. Now, when you go to your mango farm or your mango tree, if you have one on your compound, you don't pick the mango that is uh, that's poor. You pick the one that are okay. Two, you don't pick the one that is not right. You don't plug them. Are, are you following me? Now, Jesus is coming. Rapture is the law harvest seen from the world. Does it make sense? The law harvest seen from the world is coming to collect. The reason why it's difficult to do good here is that this world is corrupted since the devil has fallen. Do you know that when Jesus died, are you paying attention? Do you know that when Jesus died, there are a lot of things that has been restored and paid by the blood of Jesus. But not this world. Are you here? Okay. <laughs> you are confused. The world belongs to... Huh? <laughs> some say God, some say the devil. Can we have a microphone? I wish these teachings seep down to our life. Yes, he have the whole world in his hand. He have the whole world. He have the whole world. He have the whole world. When the devil met Jesus, what did he tell Jesus? After the 40 days of fasting. What did the devil tell Jesus? Can somebody talk in the microphone, please? I want you to participate. He, he told him that the whole world has been given unto him. Did you hear that? He said the whole world has been given to him and what? So he, and the riches and everything. So that whosoever he will he give. He also will give. So Jesus when you buy for me, buy down for me, I'll give you the world. Okay. When, at this point, the devil talking about the world, is he talking about the, the whole world as in the being of the world or the possession of it? Is he talking about what? The structure. That's in the universe or the, the uh, I don't know how to, how to. Now, normally, when we say the word, I need you to pay attention so that you don't distract me. Now, normally, when we say the word, we are talking about the system, a system. Now, the word is no. What many people think it is. No one when you say the word, the only thing people are looking at are geographical locations. That's why if you judge God's timing by where you live, you may make a mistake. Did you understand? If you look at your geographical location, your atmosphere, your, what do you call these people who, the people who forecast time, who tell you that it will rain, it will do this. Weather forecasting. If you check only your area weather forecasting, you may not be in the calendar of God. Remember that in Israel, what the man of God said, tomorrow by this time, there will be much food. 
the man by whose uh, by which the king leaned on the man said no it can't be possible why did he say that is considering where they live but they forgot that there's a god who watch over everything who can make everything who are impossible to be possible hallelujah the devil have the world and is the god of the world say the bible second uh, second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 right Can somebody read for us? Second chapter four. Second Corinthians chapter four, the verse four. The God of this age has blinded the mind of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Which Bible are you reading? Okay, let me read New King James. Verse 4. Whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, least the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. Amen. So how did the Bible call the devil? The God of this age, the God of the world. The God of this age, the God of the world. Now, when we say the world, we are talking about system. We are talking about a custom. Somebody shout a custom. A custom. Now, a custom of this world, that meaning that there's a system, there's a way of living. Now, for instance, concerning the world, whether we like it or not, there are things in the world confronting us. I'm taking it somewhere. Okay, it will help you to take something serious. Do you know that where we are now, with that buying, you can't have, you can't have what is not yours. Does it make sense? Like there's a middle, there's a junction everybody meets. That is in currency, money. The word is in buying and selling. But you know that there have been dispensation. When we were in school, they taught us that men don't carry money to go and buy. But like for instance, if I have a yam and you have tomatoes, what do we do? We exchange. They call it buttered trade. Butter, butter. Butter trade. Trade. Thank you. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Butter trade. Now, we all agree on that dispensation that there was a dispensation like that in the world. That, and I was, one day I ran away from home from my father, so I went to my mother's village. A village to her village. My auntie was there, so I stayed there. I can remember that I took uh, a bleed corn to a porridge seller. Why I give the corn, she give me porridge. It happened to me. I didn't use money. The corn from the house, what you have to do is to remove it from uh, that thing is on. How do you call it? The house. Yola. Yola. When you do it like that with a cup, you send it to the woman who sells porridge, she will receive it and give you. In Togo, after uh, Gachi, there's a place called Gachi. When I carry it, of course, I stole the corn to receive the porridge. That's my confession also. But I didn't buy with money. So, I also experience another system of trading, exchanging. I have this, you have that. I want what you have. For me to have what you have, 
I must give you what I have. Hear me, hear me very well. Many people think that in the world, you can get everything for nothing. There's nothing like that. There's nothing in this world that you can just get for free. There is always something you are giving for something. Clap so that I know you are listening. Are you interested? Now, from exchange level, the devil has managed to bring the world to another system. And the system is that now, if you have your coconut and I have my pepper, there's a place called market that all of us will carry what we have into that market. And there's something called money. When you have that one, you go and buy what you want to have. Are we all together? Because at time, I've been thinking, we have Bank of Ghana, Bank of so-so and so. I've been thinking, if they say there's no money in the system, in those halls, what did they do there? I mean, no, somebody should educate me. If it's paper, and they should cut more paper and wrote on it. And we can all be free. Let's just take dollar. We have Bank of America. The money in the system, is it not the machine they used to print it? I'll be asking, who is the person who sits there for people to suffer for this paper? If you are president, maybe I'm not educated in those areas, but somebody should help me. If we are president, we are here. Kufo came and changed our city and brought his own. Akufuadu also came. He brought some five CDs to the system. So I'm asking if they can be printing it or changing it. They should print more. So they come to Ashoma Estate, they knock my door. They give me boom. Take. YouTube boom. Take. YouTube boom. Take. Everything will be fine. I may look like a baby thinking. But you know that there is something that is beyond our government. There's something that is beyond ministers of state and president. That no matter how good will you are, how thoughtful you are to help people, when you assume a certain position, like to be a president of a nation, leadership position, everything changed there. And before you become you must corrupt yourself so that when you sit there, you will work for them. And they brought something called democracy. Democracy, in a way, people think is helping, but it has never happened. When people were living in the time of the kings, they were more free than when democracy was introduced. Why they give us democracy? Please, I'm not a Pan-Africanism person. But I'm just use this one to talk to you. Why they give us democracy? Like for instance, England. That woman is a queen since the time we know how to watch TV. Some of you, I don't know whether you pay attention. Presidents came and died and gone. Oh no, they are she just be walking like this. Nobody voted. And I understand, they should correct me if I'm wrong, that all the properties of England belong to the woman. Whether you own the house or whatever, in the law, everything belongs to the queen. Understand somebody wrote something, I don't know how true it is. He wrote something on the wall and say, may God uh, curse the queen and they said they arrested him 
I say, ah, what I'm writing, I didn't finish. I didn't put the punctuation. And the person say, what do you want to say? May God curse the queen's enemies. And they let go of it. Just to tell you that she have a lot of power when it comes to their jurisdiction. Now, what they present to us and they are giving you agitation, frustration and all that, there's a system that the devil has given. And that system has even entered the church. Not today. Long time ago. Now, for instance, no matter how down you are, if you get free money, you smile. I don't know why. Somebody give me some money, please. I will give it back to you. I'll send it to you. Now, even now, you are thinking, will Pastor truly send it back? You see money? I don't know. Uh, follow me. You see, everybody sit on their own. <laughs> now, as I'm talking now, as I show this money now, everybody is thinking of something on this one. This one is too small. Like I show a dollar bill. Even if I didn't say anything, I just remove dollar from my pocket and put it here. People in their mind, a pastor is rich. A pastor gets money. When we close now, I'll go to him and tell him my problem. For you seeing a loan that I get money. Why do we disturb our sisters and brothers who travel abroad? Is he a tree in America? Is he a tree in London, Australia, that they plug money from? But in Africa, the system of the world is that anybody who travel, he have money. Oh, yes or no? Tell me. Now, how did it, how do we come to that mindset? There's a system. The school we attended, the books we are reading, all this contributed for us to think in the certain direction and behave in a certain way. If somebody appear before your father and the person say, uh, I want to marry you. Let's go to your parent. And while they carry the man to your parent, they ask him, Mr. Man, what did you do? If the man say, I am Agbledela, Agbledela is a farmer. They will not be happy as you say you are a lawyer. Now, even if the Agbledela, the farmer have money, they will not respect him as the one who is a lawyer. What is that? There's a system influencing everybody. As for Okada man, like the person just appeared, uh, Mr. Man, uh, we want to know what you do. Uh, me, uh, I'm an Okada man. They say, what is Okada? I ride moto. You ride moto to do what? Is he a sports? Have you ever been to Olympic game before? They say, oh, not that moto. I mean, moto driver. Then the system of the world will make your parents say, ah, how many people that man will carry a day to come and build a house to take care of my daughter? But somebody who has finished school have certificate, long one, even if the person doesn't have a job, if that person presents his certificate, that I have this, I have that, your family will have more hope that that person will be successful than the person who is an Okadama. As for Shoemaker, don't bring it to them. Because your father will say, he alone can polish his own shoe. So Shoemaker, is he awake? <laughs> Why? There's a system that is ruling all of us. Why we are here now, why we are here now, anybody who have money somewhere, you don't wake up and forget it. Me, if I have money in my pocket, while I'm walking in town, small time, I go hold my bag. When I'm in car, I'll hold it small. If I'm not getting, I say, hey, I lost money. There are times I shout, I lost money. Why I didn't lose any money? The money is hiding somewhere. 
the pocket people are doing for us today. Look at pocket. Hmm? And pocket can steal your own money from you. So you are looking for the money you are not seeing. Now, there are times when we hold Bible. We can for I know people in this church who forget their Bible in cars. But not their purse. Was it there? <laughs> Why are you watching Paco? <laughs> are you saying he has been forgetting the Bible? Not their purse. To even talk about telephone, look at the phone. I know a pastor in Togo. He told us some story. We laugh. At. <laughs> Anytime I remember with that, I laugh. He said he was on moto. And on the motto, he hold his Bible and bread. <laughs> Where they were going, they have accident. When they have accident, he rather he let go of the Bible, but he hold the bread. Why he was on the floor, he got to himself. He said, ah, Jera, what are you doing? You have left the Bible. He said, as for the bread, his hand was on the bread. While the Bible was somewhere. The system of the world. Why do you want to pass that exam more than passing the exam, spiritual exam? Why? Because you know by the world system that if I can have this exam, that exam, I will gain a job. If I can gain a job, I will have a certain money. If I can have the money, I will get this, I will get that. Look at the people who go to school. How many years, who can tell me, you people do in school? Are all, uh, uh, which age a child go to school in Ghana? Age four. And today, dear, but when we were going to school, they say you should do like this. Who know that? You do some before. Uh -huh. If your hand doesn't talk... They say, go home again. But today, because of the world, three months or six months child can go to school if he can pay for it. Now, let's even take it from four years. By four years, if the child starts, uh, is it class one? No. Which age is class one? Six years, okay. From class one to university, how many years? 16 years. Somebody help me. 14. So I better say. Six years in primary. Three years. Nine years. Uh -huh. 12, uh -huh. and that's 16. So, it's even like 17. And some of, some of the children or some of us, we don't know book, we'll be repeating class. So, it's possible, let's just do it 20. It's possible that you take 20 years by learning the system of the world. By the time you are finishing to have a degree, you have so much eating from the table of the world. Don't forget, you are not just passing through school lines. You just go through your hall to your bedroom. Forget it. You are burning, struggling, learning, Sacrificing, using money on it. Apart from that, in the system of going to school, there are other influences from your class, from your teacher, from your friends. Others lose their virginity while they are going through a 17 years of the world system. Others became drunkards. 
Others speak some attitude. They've never attended having. By the time you are finishing, yes, you are speaking French, you are speaking English, or you are speaking a foreign language, Portuguese or something, but you are not only expressing yourself in a foreign language, but there's a foreign character to what God has made you. If I tell you that most of us, we have never started the God-given life for us, will you believe? There is so much of junk, and that has to even do with your selection of who you should marry and your acceptance of who should marry you. What is your definition of love? It's always by the worldview. What is our definition of success? It's always by what? How the worldview sources. Even now, the struggle in the kingdom is that there's a way the world sees beauty. You must make up. Eyelashes. You must bring an artificial nails to it. At a certain time, even our generation, if a brother or a sister say she's a virgin, others mock her. Why most of you, you are not proud to show your love? Some of you, I believe, I'm your pastor, that you see somebody in town, in town that you know, but you had yourself because you were wearing a long dress and you were wearing a scarf. When you people are said to look like daughters of Zion, look at the questions they ask you. Are you money? You lost somebody in your family? Yes, because normally in Africa, the only time you see women who are natural is when their father, their mother die. Oh, Bibuana. That's why you see them. They say they are money, they're dead. Two. When they are going to marry, in the Broadway, before they marry, a week or two, they come away from artificiality just to pick it later on the wedding day. And they say that when you are away from it and you wear it again, it becomes nicer. Women, am I lying? You see the system of the world. The world is called in the Greek cosmos. Cosmos means multitude of ungodly people. Clap for Jesus. It means multitude of ungodly or ungodly multitude. Cosmos. It's a facade or it's a deception. In First John chapter 2, it said, this world is passing. This world is doing what? Well. It's passing. And people don't want to accept the passing world. The truth is that people of God, Anybody that have so much attachment and commitment to the things of the world, you will be offended in Christ. Can you imagine? Let me give an example that this atomic land, we bought it as a church. And I hung a certain 21st century temple here that we are bidding 200,000 capacity. That has never happened in the world. And we have the money to bid it. And why there are things happening to the world. Do you think that I will encourage you to live for Christ? 
there is salvation. We would like to shock the world. So I will not tell you the truth. So when the Bible says, love not the world, let's read it, First John chapter 2. Love not the world and the things of the world. The Bible has prepared us before these days that we are living in. Madam, come for your money. Before I sin. <laughs> First John, John chapter 2. May the Lord multiply for you. Verse 15. Yeah, can you read? First John chapter 2, the verse 15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world is passing away and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Did you hear that? He said the world is passing away. Number two. And the last of it. There's a system of the world that is accompanied with the last of the world. Do you reach the 17? Yes, please. He said, what that, all that are in the world are, is passing away and the last of it. Now, the verse 16 says, the last of it. Say, all that is in the world, the last of the well, flesh. When they talk about the last of the, the flesh, right? Yes. Uh -huh. The last of the flesh, mm -hmm. the last of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the, of the Father, but of the world. The last of the flesh, the last of the eye, the pride of life. These are the things that the world gives birth to. These are the things that the world nourish. These are the things that the world sponsors. I've realized, I don't know about you, if you want to agree with me, that when you are struggling to have something, by the time the thing is getting to you, you want another thing. I don't know. This word will never satisfy us people. Eh? You see, that's why at times it's good to allow experienced men to talk to you. Mm. You know, when you finish GSS, I've seen a lot of young girls. When you finish GSS, they be, it's like the person they didn't go to secondary year too. But you see, the way the person will be behaving in the area, she, she wants to carry the whole area to say, ah, Charlie, I'll be different. And people who has been to secondary who know those they'll be just laughing at you. Oh. Somebody who finished secondary, look at what you people do to finish school. Some will do something to for their name to remain in the school. Evil. Some of you. <laughs> I remember my brother. I went to their school. He told me that they, this teacher can beat them. This one, I'm talking about elementary. And the time, I'm, the time I live in Lome, they call the place Dekon. All the bad boys are there. Me, I'm not that bad boy, but since they live far away, I want to show that Charlie, which are day around. When I go, I say, where they in, in, in class? Vacation time, I went, I climbed the table of the teacher. And I put poo on it. I say, yeah. I, I don't go, Vanda, Vanda, no cow. Hey. To just show them the hair. In case it be calm. He can't yada the place. <laughs> Foolishly. You are just cursing yourself. The teacher, what did he do to you? Learn. If you learn well, the teacher will be teaching. But look at how you do before leaving that school. 
Somebody who has passed there, we forget that the teacher teaching you was once a student. So you know tricks. Somebody who has passed there, they say, look at this one. People who go to Legon uh, first year, for they call them all, fresh what? Freshers. Why do they call them freshers? <laughs> and when you see them on campus, you know that this is a fresher. That's why level 300, 400 people, they are like hyenas. They will jump on those girls because they are innocent. Because most of the time, I'm telling you that because I pray a lot, Barbara type, I pray a lot with them. So I know movement. University relationship. One day in Legon here, somebody killed herself because of this love issue. Released himself and died. They say, catch them young. Operation, catch them young. When you are on campus going to lectures, when they see you are committed, they say, oh, it's a uh, fresher, fresher. Because the gurus, they don't go. You see them party here. You see them there and there. Now, it's good that somebody who have an experience of certain things will tell you because this world does not satisfy anybody. That's why when you are married, somebody who know who has been where you are, it, it will ask you some questions. Do you love him? Especially when love is at its peak. People are in love. They don't want those questions. It's like you are an enemy of progress. If I don't love him, will I say I will marry him? In their head, they will be insulting you. Yes, I love him. Is that the will of God for you? They will say, what do you mean, please? They will all do you mean, Daniel. Because you are so much blind to what we call realities. But the person who has passed there, he knows that the thing is not the ceremony. The thing is not the wedding pictures. The thing is not the wedding gown because everybody's wedding day. We dress well. When you finish marrying David Matilda, you finish. Everybody, who oh, you dance. At time, me, I do some dance on my wedding day. That's not from me. My wife has been laughing. Even this morning in church, she laughed about, about me. Oh, I do the dance. I do, because I said, everybody was watching me. So I go, just leave my day like that. They say, me and my wife for dance. I say, egbe, egbe. <laughs> They were playing a song. I don't even understand. I say, okay, let's go. I do the thing. I do the thing. People shout here. Yeah, I say, at least I made them shout. It's not about who dance better than who. I made you shout. Why I'm dancing, you are doing all those things. People are congratulating you. Now that you finish, you carry the woman to the house. Nobody live there. Eh? Nobody live there. Then you ask yourself, have I gone or have come? And there are times they forget to give you food. While you are at the wedding ground, you are doing like, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. The wedding night. When you come, all of you are tired. But later on, the next day, people will not disturb you. They say, well, let them rest. Let them rest. That, that's hunger. Now, you will forget that there will be bill and rent. Your landlord or electricity company, water company, will not just say oh, they are in their honeymoon, so let me spare them. Challenges will come. The flower, the fresh flower, they put on our car wedding day. They carry them to our room. But the next day, you rather that the flower is dying. So the flower is talking to us that, uh-huh, 
the thing that was nice is passing away. When you are in your own house, when you are coming, no praises leader worshippers sing that omu bao they are coming. Pam 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 pam. That's my own version. They don't do that. Why you all slept and wake up? The woman will wake up with what she want the man to do. Her vision she have. The man will wake up with her vision. Then the the man says, ah, she will not wake up and do breakfast for me. The woman in her head, that film I watch, there is somebody who came and fry egg and say, my dear, please get up. Breakfast is ready. You realize that what you were thinking of was film. Now reality will come. The system of the world does not satisfy. That's why, watch. When I have this phone, I was very happy. But at certain time, when I have it, I'm making sure that it doesn't fall. But this, this, this thing has fallen, sir. When I bought it early, we were going around to look for a protection. By the time the thing went one month, I think up. This one, the first day, I said, wow, what a nice thing. What a nice thing. After some few days, I said, ah, it's gone. We bought a television. We hung it on the wall. When you wake up in the morning, you want to come to the hall. Hey, I must also have a plasma. You can only do that two times. There are times you forgot that you have one. The world will never satisfy us. The souls of men can never receive satisfaction from the world. That's why the rich man, many a time we ask a question. Why the rich people want to be president? Me, I ask, did you answer? We all ask those questions. Ah, this man has a lot of money. What does he want to be MP still? What does he want to be a president? All the money they've been stealing. The last of the world. Look at what Jesus said concerning the world. John chapter 17, verse 15. John 17, the verse 15. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. There's an evil in this world, people. And the evil in the world only got to us, get her through the last of the world. Last time, we were somewhere and somebody asked a question. He said, people who do fraud, and we call them Sakawa people here, 419. The person said, how would they do their restitution? That's the question the person asks. Somebody who steals from the north, the south. There are times the people they are stealing from, they forget their name. One of my brother had a vision. He said he went to the bank. While he was in the bank, these four and nine people came. He said any money they receive is a mark on them. Ask yourself, in this world that we are in, who is just there for you to be deceiving him? Have you seen this picture or video? The man has something from his trousers to the front of him, and they hang dollar on it. And the man is running following the dollar. But I didn't know that he's just running by himself. I saw one. The man was money. By the time the money will be plenty, there's a graveyard. The world is a passing place. 
Matthew 24, verse 35. Matthew 20, 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not will by no means pass away. Amen. Hear me, people. Jesus' own words say the heaven and earth will pass away. If a Christian live like you are not living this world, you are lying. Even if you don't go, they say the world or the earth you are on it is passing away. So there are two things. Either you go and leave it or he leave you alone. Where will you be standing? Somebody says something. Say, while I was reading on the, the word, the person said, the word is big. I must watch it well before it becomes dark. It's a simple statement, but it makes a lot of meaning. He said, the word is big. I must watch it well before it becomes dark. Do you know that Jesus admonishes us to overcome the world? Hmm? That we should overcome the world. How do we overcome the world? There are many overcomer songs we sing. He wanted to overcome the world. Watch me, sisters. How many of our sisters, not even sisters, we the guys too, because when we were growing up, they were raising us together with the ladies. I don't know some of you, but we will come from the Aigbetogo Bene, Votarigi. <laughs> you know how to do something in the kitchen. Now, how many of us now who know how to preserve a food, preserve a meat or a fish? How many? If I tell you at what age I was before killing goat for my father, you'll be shocked. They are, they are giving the goat. Say, kill it. Killing a goat, today, they, when we buy it, the people in the market kill it for us. Even a cook of fowl. Before we kill it in the house, you carry the fowl, you give him water, water. Mibuana. You put it in there before you kill. And when you are killing, you dug a small hole. You go and sharp the knife. You put your right leg on his leg. Another one on the feathers and hold the throat. Ah, ah! You hold the mouth. You remove. You remove. Thank you. You know it. You remove some of the hair. You give him tra tra. And when you are cutting, you don't cut the head off. And you hold it sumo for the blood to come. And you put hot water on fire, deeply inside, plug the tin, deep there. When you finish, the airway man calls something akwe. You open it. When you are opening it, they are telling you there's something in the animal called what? Bitter liver, na? Ba. If that thing fall or break or into the animal, you can't eat it again. So, so while you are while doing that, there are times when they are exposing the goat, you make sure you cut it away from what they deliver and they throw it away. When you cut the animal in pieces, my father who was not there, if you, you steal, he go no. But me, I've been stealing that he doesn't know. There's a place of a goat you can steal. 
Since I don't want to teach evil, I will not tell you. When they come, they will hold there. If it's a foul, they say, okay, I don't know what any other, a tide, a quarter, meaning, what's the neck? What's the leg? He was not there, he was somewhere drinking. But when you finish, he will arrange it and calculate. It's called to full goat. Okay, go. But there are side of a goat, you can, you can chop a meat from it. <laughs> it's like, we call it slice. <laughs> Now, but now, the system of the world has moved all of us from the traditional life and which are the best things for us. Now, for instance, drinking water from a clay pot, you know, is better than a fridge. Oh, those days, the pot, they will take uh, the shell of uh, yam dry yam, the body, they put it under the sun and burn it inside. After they wash it and they put the water inside. And that's a mango tree. If you drink that water, it's not water, it's water. <laughs> water. If you drink, it's better than the fridge. But you see, there was a plan to get us to what is the end time, one world order. So it's not now they are working on. They've been working a long time, but we were not wise. Hmm? I know many people who say, oh, I'm not eating this again, but they'll go and come and eat. Then at the time, I say, I'm not eating cold water, but how can I be sweating in this heat? At the time when I say, uh, like cook like those things, I don't want it. But at the time you are sweating, I say, hey, if I drink wine, no go kill me. Ah, Abba. Even your food, the taste, they control it. They call something what? Cube, eh? Maggie Cube. Me, I stop, it's not now. If I eat Maggie Cube, maybe I, from the restaurant. But some of you, no matter how you cook, if you don't put it inside, it's like, hey, and yet they will. They push you, they push us, they push us, they push us, they push us. We met a man in Abidjan, he was living on the hill. When you look at his age, look at the age of his, the man's grandfather was still alive. He was telling us that he doesn't eat a fish that is dead. That if you want to eat fish, he take it from the water and eat. He said, Pastor, this is your frozen fish. People are eating sickness. He said, you see me here? Look at my, my, my age. Look at me. The only thing I don't like of him, he loves women too. He said, Pastor, is this work on this water? My child is on the university. He told me that if you want to eat fish, the one you pull from the water, but I say you people, you buy it and you go and put it in the fridge. Now, I'm not preaching fridge, but I'm just telling you that there has been a system called the system of the world that is ruling us in every area of our life. If our parents cook soup to keep the food after they serve, they have to heat it. And do you know that they educate the pot? And you don't know? Uh, many women here, you see, Selena is watching me. They don't know. The pot, Oklanaze, they educate the pot so that the soup will not spoil in it. This thing I'm saying, a lot of people, even on the internet, you are shocked. You educate the pot. Oh, my boy, our oh, women. Several times, I see our women, 
when they serve a food, they 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 serve soup. The spoon the spoon that you use to serve the you don't leave it in the rest of the soup. Others they will be putting on the top of the soup. You don't do that. You get another bowl. When you remove it from here, you put it inside. Where's we are preaching? Say amen. amen. <laughs> now, Jesus said, He have leave us into the world, but deliver us from what the evil of the world. Now, the evil of the world, how does he operate? He operates by causing you to have lust for things. The system of the world, you can see it. Most of us, we have seen it before coming to church. Or even appear on our television or on phone while you are in the church. What we call publicity. You see those publicity, uh, what do you call them? Panel, eh? The big boss. All those things is speaking something to you. For instance, some years ago, I was told. If the devil wants the world to wear a certain dress, he will just pick a footballer, a boxer, a musician. The person will just wear it and take a picture or a video. You see, everybody, you, if you like it, let uh, give me some known name. Oh, Chateau is not known internationally. Uh -huh, Cristiano Ronaldo, even if Beckham, those people, let them. Wear a, a sort of dress, eh? or if they like, they should carry their knicker and wear it on their neck and put one hand here as they take pictures. You said that it become a state. Last time I was somewhere, I saw everybody calling toilet row and they are playing it in football. As I watched the team, uh, this guy, uh, some of you want footballer, Messi. He played that thing, so everybody in the world carry toilet roll and they are playing it. When I say oppression, read your Bible. Oppression, carry your Bible and take picture. You didn't hear me. This mess, uh, mess, messy what? The guy who played the ball and people have been comparing with Ronaldo. Uh -huh. This guy played toilet roll. The only toilet roll you play with. It didn't do anything. Other people carry it. I say, well, carry your Bible and take picture. And share. You didn't do it. I know that there are boys here in the bathhouse. They try mercy challenge already. <laughs> boys here in, the, in their bathhouse. As I'm saying it now, they'll go and do it. Oh, mercy. Oh, oh mercy. They'll do that thing and do like this. There is a system controlling everybody. Look at our weddings. The Bible says we should be modest. Why we struggle with modesty? Hmm? Some years ago, there was a, a guy in Kenya and a lady. They carry Lacoste to go and marry. The world said they will not agree. People contribute money to push them into extravagant way of living. It's a system. You know, the devil, the money can spend to correct what he doesn't like. You'll be shocked. Something that will expose that thing would have saved a lot of youth. It would have saved a lot of young guys from some unreasonable girls who want to kill you because you want to marry them. Can I preach for the guys? I was talking to one guy yesterday. He's going to marry. He said, Pastor, I'm doing everything. No. I said, What is the lady doing? The way you talk. I said, Hey, mom boy. Mom boy. The guy is doing everything. After doing everything, he said, Give you chop money. So when he finished marrying you, you are not calling him in the room. Darling, he will tell you, No. <laughs> the, 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 the guy is dying. He's dying. He's dying. 
So pastor, I'm doing everything. He said, if he finished too, he had to be sending chopped money. I know. Can you imagine? Some of you there. Oh no, I will not cause you trouble. Please forgive me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Your husband is just like Odore. Odore doesn't mind if you take phone to take his wedding picture. <laughs> say, okay, buddy, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's we will not allow. But he doesn't care. Look at the way the guy dressed today. When I saw him there, I said, hey, Paco, look at Odore. Combination, Benny. This combination, how can a sister have hope in you that ah, me worry you? <laughs> More grace to you, brother. God will raise somebody who think like you for you. In Jesus' name, let the saints say amen. You see, we laugh at the bush, but very soon, the you know the bush meat is the best meat. Very soon. Who wants want to, to go to, to the bush? bush. Let me. Okay, good. Oh no, there's somebody. Oh, no, a lady wants to go to the bush. <laughs> you see, you are not saying, hey. Maybe she doesn't understand English. The English I'm speaking. Aviv, you are a umpe bush. Is it the white man? Still the white man. Or what is that you? Now that she understand. A caucha is enough for you to go and stay there. <laughs> now, people of God, the Bible, there are a lot of scriptures here I would love to give you, but let me give you this, it will help you. For you to have control over the world, there are some things to consider. You must not be conformed. The Bible himself helped us long time in Romans chapter 12. He said we shouldn't be conformed to it. One of the ways to overcome it, one of the ways to not be influenced by the world, you must be determined not to conform to the world. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 the verse 2 and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God Amen. now do not conform means to not to be in the fashion of the world or copying the appearance or the pattern of the world the appearance of the world or the pattern like when you are doing your dealings your decisions your way of life even the way you dress the way you decorate your house your car your kitchen it must not be in the pattern of the world First John chapter 5 verse 4. Chapter 5 verse 4. For whatever, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You have to read it again. Somebody have to say amen on that. First John chapter 5 the verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Are you born of God? Yes. So we cannot say that we cannot go through the world without being like. The Bible says, whosoever is born of God overcome the world. And how to overcome it is to not be conformed to the world. Now, I don't know 
who I'll use for example. Michelle? <laughs> Your dress probably looks like a wedding dress. I want somebody. Okay, Selena, get up. Get up. Come, come, come forward. Your dresses are long now. And most of them are drawing your body. You see the way Selena dress? Hmm? Let's say Selena's wedding day is today. If Selena wear this dress for her wedding, what does it do? But some of you say, ah, are they poor? Oh, more boy. Oh, I pity them. They don't have money. If the money will spend for a wedding gown, normally how much if you buy them? Because he said thousand five, who thousand five? You keep quiet there. <laughs> I will not go to Barbara <laughs> because Barbara already when he came to church, he just watching me. How much they been sewing the dresses? Hey, I'm not. How much they been sewing the dresses? But roughly, roughly. Right buying is more expensive. Our wedding dress, Mama couldn't wear it again. If, like the way you two, <laughs> if, like the way I am now, I would have tell her that ah, let's call a Vobi cup colo. We just hang something that you are wearing. One, I'm not discouraging the place, wear your own. You go wear your own in Jesus' name. No, no, your own. You, you, you go wear um, the way she was the master at the. <laughs> but you see, I think we saw two. Your wedding and the one they said they must change. Hey! They wear the thing once. You just keep it somewhere. And people will tell you that. Oh, you will show it to your children, children. Do you know that in Togo, people have been renting wedding gowns? They do in Ghana too. They do here too. Huh? Everywhere. I know some of you say to Fiakwa. Someone no go wear, I go come wear. If you don't want that one, you can get a simple thing. But if Selena dressed this way, her wedding day, the, uh, who will I use for example? I don't know now. Brother, wake up, wake up. Uh -huh. You just be there. Like the husband dressed like this. Sit down. They saw you already. <laughs> now, people will be pitying them. Which kind of wedding is this? Like? If they carry their money, they will spend on the wedding gown the suit, the shoe, and they make some investment into farming or poultry farm. While you are looking down on them, they will finish their wedding and be at peace. Now you look a certain way and you have to be stealing after your wedding and you have to be cutting corners and you have to be what? Jealous in other people. So, Pastor, what are you saying? If you dress well, it's not a problem. But the time we are in, I encourage a lot of people to do things with modesty. I know a brother in Cote d'Ivoire. His wedding day, he entered into Trotro, public transport. Here too. Kofite, your sister. The bride entered taxi. My brother, when he married, he was walking from Kisema to the church. And the church people say, hey, what is it? When they finished, he grabbed the woman. And me, Jola, me, jo. And the church said, no, no, let's hide taxi. And can you imagine those days, Kisema taxi? But we will go and rent car. 
You rent a car, people are saying, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do. <laughs> you finish. Sunday, you are coming to church. The car owner, give me my car. Can we come out of the system of the world and be free and serve God? Like, look at Bacchus car, Samis car, Barbara's car. If, Barbara, I'm not talking to you, please. Don't be, just be like you're not in church. If somebody is called Barbara, I want to, I want to marry, use her own car. Will somebody look down for her? People will look down for her. And the people who do that are people who don't love people. They want to give pressure. Pressure. The system of the world has something called pressure. Hmm? Pressure. You know, that's why the song this morning was powerful. A soldier. A true soldier. Do you know soldiers, they don't care about their uniform. They don't care about their shoe. Some of them wear one week without removing it. The day they remove it, if you smell you yourself, you know that this is a shoe that belongs to a bongo soldier. You will smell it. The last of the world is quenching our fire. The last of the world is killing the zeal of God. The last of the world is giving us some headache. And we are sinning with it. But Jesus said, we should cheer up. John chapter 16, verse 33. Thank you. John 16, 33. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. Did you hear that? The world will never give you peace. It's only Jesus. Go ahead. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Amen. It said, be of good cheer, cheer, for I have overcome the world. Jesus overcome the world. So we can also overcome the world. You know one day Jesus told them that the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. Jesus' life was a modest life. And no wonder he'd been able to succeed and fulfill his purpose on earth. For your information, do you know that you are the light of the world? If the Bible says we are the light of the world, it shows already how the world look in the sight of God. Clap for Jesus. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, from the verse 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but a, but on a lampstand and it give light to all who are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven Amen. we are the light of the world brothers we have to show light if you are copying the world by copying the word, our light are quenching. When you embrace the word and the, the system of the world, your light, the true light of Christ in you, is quenching. Yesterday, I was watching a, a preacher. And the preacher went to watch. And I, first I asked Pastor Christian, uh, the man is wearing two watches. So. He said, oh, it's only one. He remember yesterday. Christian said, it's only one. I said, what he wear? Ah, open two watches. Powerful one. And I shocked. I said, this man at this age, carrying two watches. 
it shows the heart of men how we love the world one is the the apple one now there's one everybody wants to wear now and there's another one who is the one they say they sell in uh, somebody a pastor in uh, Nigeria say he bought his own uh, one fifty thousand dollars or something and the internet people say a watch Rolex Rolex is it not a watch what do we use it for is it not time my telephone have time you see that the word have put us into some pressure power and this man of God he wear one on the left one on the right and there's a chain around him also and his own hair he don't do motorway I say guy guy oh man may God help us now the world have a system that have a certain wisdom that you rule it by if you are not careful, if you marry a wife, marry a husband, who doesn't understand this thing, there will be pressure in your, in your house. The pressure is that every new thing. We were in discussion with uh, a brother. I forgot the person's name. They have a family friend. Every new thing that appears, the woman want the husband to buy it. So as for the apples, <laughs> they don't they go. Every new thing. So if you are buying him a Toyota car, by the time they are going to 2020, you should be changing it. Which work are you doing? pressure first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 to 19 I hope you are learning something first Corinthians chapter 3 the verse 8 18 18 to 19 excuse me let no one deceive himself if anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. In this age, that is in this world. Go ahead. Verse 19. For the wisdom of this world mm -hmm. is the foolish is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their own craftiness. For the foolishness of this world, for the wisdom of this world, is what? Foolishness before God. You that is looking down upon people because they didn't go to the school you attended. The Bible says that your wisdom is foolishness. As a matter of fact, you are no body just by holding a certificate. A mobile that you only have your hope in paper, not Bible. When somebody says, oh, I'm a teacher of God's word, they look down upon us. But when somebody just carry a paper that they put a stamp on, they call the team accreditation from Harvard or somewhere. And the person who have for Komoji, Anyela, Mawusku, that one, everybody clap for them. But somebody give himself committed to God. One, they see you as a lazy person. They see you that you don't have a future. The wisdom of the world is foolishness before them. Which of the wisdom of the world are you running with? Which of the wisdom of God, of the world that is carrying you? There's a man I know in a country. God called him to be a giver. While he was giving to the church, 
he called the pastors and told them that what he has been doing for the church he wants to stop they say why so oh, now he want to invest in his in his children school or the pastor said oh, okay thank you you will help us a lot but you see that statement is foolishness Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 it says lay your treasures in heaven where they will not steal it away but if you put your treasures into your children your children can die they can grow they will not be a proper people all your investment will pass out have you seen that most of the time rich men children they don't become rich most of them are not serious most people rich men children what their parent has given them they waste it out and you see that the new people who are becoming rich are people who came from home that there is nothing may the lord help me and you that you will overcome the world even with the wisdom that is in the world the wisdom that is in the world they said you must talk in a certain way to be accepted even your own food you are eating if you don't know how to apply the knife and the fork you'll be laughing at it when God has created us God has given us fork already your five fingers God has given us two fork one at the right one at the left if you like use the two you go to a restaurant they give you a wind of a, a turkey how can you apply knife and fork on that thing for the thing to go away if I say give me water let me hold the thing they say you are a villager villager have my own money how did you dash me they say no you can't you can't be eating and that's village the food you people are eating is it not from the village when you get to your table in the air condition then you are insulting the villagers <laughs> they will do some aluta being eh? people will see amen read me Titus chapter 2 verse 12 may the Lord help us Titus chapter 2 the verse 12 teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world amen thank you for the last time please teaching us that deny ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world amen deny godly ungodly lust we should live soberly. Did you hear that word? Soberly. We should live soberly. The amplifier, I would love to hear the amplifier on that subject. Titus 2. It teaches us to reject ungodliness and did you hear that? The grace of God teaches us to reject ungodly. And I told you that the word for word in the Greek is word cosmos, meaning ungodly multitude. Ungodly multitude. So the grace of God teaches us to deny ungodliness. Go ahead. In bracket, immoral desires. Mm. There's a way of the world. There's a pastor in La Côte d'Ivoire. They call him Gedeon. He has been preaching. He says, if you get a woman, test the woman before you marry her. If you test her, you don't like her, leave her. And he call himself pastor. No, it's not a film. Eh? Can you imagine? It's a test. It's like you are going to buy gari in the market. Ah, is it good gari? 
And two, it has been preached that polygamy is not the same. And you have Bible scriptures on it. should test people's children. They want to test your child. Now you are insulted. Go ahead, Pastor Kisi. Desires. And to live sensible, upright, and godly lives. Amen. The world is full of deception. Watch me. We are closer. Watch me. Watch me. Lives with a purpose that reflect spiritual maturity. That is in quote. Okay, thank you. In that this present age, there's something wasting our time. There's something ahead of a person in Togo. We went somewhere, we met a guy. So the sister that we were with, she says, like, you know the guy because she worked in a hospital. And finally, we have to truly you know the guy because the guy's wife was sick. So while they were working, hospital, house, hospital, they got to know one another. But what is it? The woman was a singer in church. Hear me? According to them, she sings powerful. She had a wonderful voice. She just felt sick and went to the hospital. She couldn't talk again. She didn't die. But she couldn't talk again. And one of the way God has called her is to use her voice to worship God. And the question is, I mean, it's painful to be alive, but you are impotent in what God has given you. Do you understand? You are impotent in the area that God knows you. She didn't die. So we asked, how did they communicate? And now she's coming. She writes or she do the finger. A chorister. According to them, they say when she sings, you know that this is a singer. The pride of life. They are singing a song. You are not born like that. Too. You are not born dumb. What they are singing the song in your head, in your mind, you are singing it by. You can't project it. It's not that he was born like that. Somebody has been singing in church, and people has given testimony of the person. Nama donia udo Nama ye ni aupe Era die Metna Nama Last time I had a dream, 
there was a false prophet prophesying and the only way to expose him I must give myself for him to prophesy to me and why I decided to go I start pleading the blood in my dream that is incantation can never pick anything of me hear me people or the world have his pastors, the world have his businessmen, the world, anything that God has, they all also have it to oppose that of God. God has called you for something, has God entrusted something unto you. How are you handling it? I don't know how that lady will be feeling. I don't wish that for myself. That you couldn't speak. Your melodious voice, the voice that brings tears to the eye of men, the voice that brings healing to them, now is love. And they say she will never speak till she dies. They say she will never speak till she dies. Some of you, you are just like that lady. Your voice has not ceased. But when you look at your life, you know God has called you for something. But for your child. But for the pregnancy. But for the work. But for where you are living. A brother wrote me from Australia this week. I share a message and he respond to the message. He said, yes. You are right, man of God. He said, looking for money, drove him away the calling of God. This is a guy, those days, he can walk to a juju man's house and pray to a juju man. Adam, don't be slight. Don't be there, say, what we were we? This man, a place called Avenopeme in the water region, everybody was afraid to enter. They say you don't enter to the house with a shoe. He went with his shoe. Sit the juju man down and open the Bible. Say, Call what we And the juju man asked him, Where is your house and where is your name? When he came out, everybody was watching him. You were free, nothing happened to you. He said, Yes. Then the juju man was shocked. Such a man lost him because he wanted to travel to Australia. He's there now. But this week he wrote me, he said, Pastor Philip, I've lost this opportunity for love of money. What is the pain power hooking you to the world? If the world is passing away, when are we going to stand and for our Lord to shine into it? As I said, that the writer said, the world is big. I must watch it well before, before it becomes darker. So in other words, the world is big. I must do the work of he who has sent me before it becomes late. Before it becomes late. John Wesley says something. He says, man love to see fire. So he keeps himself burning. That's why men always come to watch it. When are we going to shock this world? You cannot shock the world enough with your English. It can't. There's no money that you can have that will shock the world because the one that gives the money is called the prince of praise. The, 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 the prince of the world, rather. The devil have much money. He control it. We can only shock the world with our godliness. With the things we suffer for Christ. With the things we stand for Christ. Now, even before you get to the world view, the community you live, the house that you live, your family, your wife, your husband beside you, your children, what is their conclusion of you? Don't go far away. A sister that is behind you, a sister that is before you, a brother that is beside you, when they watch you, they see Benedita. 
What did they say? Last yesterday, we were laughing at Claudia's cat. While we were looking for the seamstress, when your name came, everybody said, Yes, sir. As for Benede, open, sir. Do, do you understand that thing? When we say it's Benede that sold the thing, the way the thing is to go, like as my nursing wants to. Then that's a trademark that Benede, you don't care. The thing they sweep the floor, open the side. When we think of you, what do we think? Look at Rosina, Rosina's testimony. Why he was in the car, he prayed that he needed space and God gave her. But ask yourself, what was she doing? She was not buying for herself. Did you hear me, Paco? Rosina didn't go to market, Mama, to buy for himself. He went to market for probably my house did you understand <laughs> Rosina can say I'm not the house girl of anybody do you understand I don't know can I talk to somebody I, I was quite there how would she you know but look at the way she carried the thing and she had a prayer it's not that they even give him money to take she had a prayer. And when she came to the junction of the sister, she didn't go front in her face. She went laughing. You don't understand some testimony. If you don't understand it, you will not change your life. Why she said that in my heart, I said, God is working on people. Everybody is locating their way. This is the time to make the mark. Some of you that your battery, spiritual battery is low. This is the time to charge it up. And to charge it up is the decision, the things you are doing for others. Because, look at the testimony. If you send me and I'm struggling with what you send me in about, I will call you that accountant. Accountant. But she prayed. And when God opened the door, she was happy. Is she a house girl? Listen. In heaven, the people that you hear their name are not the people who are saved. As for people who are saved, like they are sharing water this morning, they will share to pastors. The one serving the pastors is making a mark than the pastor receiving it. The number one person in this church this morning is not me that is preaching. It's the person that has sweeped the place. Why nobody was aware. The system of the world said the number one person is the one that ruling. Why are you come here? Go, come, sit down, jump with a certain, a certain voice. But in the face of God, the great one must be the one that is the less. The less one. The Bible says God gives grace to the humble and resists the proud. The world is big, said that man. He said he has to watch it because before it becomes dark. The news we are hearing are not encouraging. There are times when you are not careful, when you wake up, you are afraid of your soul. What are you doing about it? We have to think and be serious. Because we were just coming, a brother had to marry. When we were coming, yesterday they were looking for a place. In La Cote d'Ivoire. They look for the place. When they went to where they want, another person paid for it. But their marriage is 14 or 16. While I was here, I was calling them. Go here, go here, go here. But when we were coming now in the car, we said, ah, why are they even disturbing themselves? You do your engagement. When we do church in Lakoji, where it's a garden, Sunday, we can do that on Sunday, if you like. You tell people, come to my wedding, 1 p.m. 
after 12. They should finish their church. They will come. So it will save you some money. The church will just be there. But you see, they will go and do Saturday one and they have to pay a lot of money. And Sunday, they have to also come again. So I just give this idea. While I was in the car, I was calling them there. That let's have some meetings so that we can save some money for this week. The system of the world. The system of the world. If you are not wise, the world will have you into their net. If you are not wise. What are we doing now? That lady who lost her voice by sickness. She cannot sing again. She doesn't even talk to say they are singing. So who is man at all? And what is man? I know people who are blind. They can still sing. Yes, they can sense it. What about you? Which area of your life are you important? Which area of your destiny? Some of you on the altar of prayer, you are important. Before your Bible, you know how to read, but you don't read your Bible. Can you think of this lady and ask God to have mercy on you and say, God, Anything you have given me, I will use it before time is over. What is he God has put into you? That is not useful. What is it? What is it that God has asked you to do? That you are not using it. The world is passing away with this. The last of it is passing away. There are a lot of procrastination in the kingdom. I will do it. I will do it. May it. And some of you, when the word of God comes to you to rebuke you, to correct you, your pride, your foolishness will not allow you to accept it. That's so beautiful. You want church to be like an ice cream shop. Church can never be like that. In the Bible, there was a sister called Phoebe. One day, Phoebe had to move from Paul. While she must go to the Roman church, Paul wrote to, to them and said, they should receive Phoebe because she's a servant to the church. She's profitable to you and she'll be profitable to you. Some of you sisters in the church, how are you profitable to God? And how are you profitable to one another? We have heard a story or the testimony of Rosina. She did that thing she did so glad and happy. You have to pray. That God help me not to be impotent in my gift. Who have you served? And who are you serving? Or you are serving your ego. You are praying now. Young guys in the church, you are called to do something. You can also lead prayer. You can also do evangelism. You can also play the drum. Is it not beautiful that we have a drum that nobody play? We have a guitar, bass guitar, nobody play. Is it not beautiful? You are going to pray that God have mercy on me. That any area of my life that I'm impotent concerning your kingdom, have mercy. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. There's a wisdom God has placed in you. There's a gift God has placed in you. 
There's a mandate for God's will. How many hours or minutes we spend in prayer time? We read our Bible as like the way caterpillar just move. We read it with no meaning. We just use our eye to run through it. We don't study the word. We talk on phone. We gossip. But we don't have time for the things of God. No wonder the world is swallowing us. Oh Lord, mercy this morning. For he that is born of God overcome the world. He that is born of God overcome the world. Let those who have their light quenched receive light. Those who are weak to their self receive power. The road to heaven is a rough one. But when you make up your mind and when you are focused, you surely reach there. The Lord is ready to help us. Are you ready to accept the help of God? Are you ready to do His will? Especially some of us that the breakthrough we pray for, we receive, while we receive the breakthrough, those same breakthrough has carried us away from God. We have ungodly friends and we don't preach to them. We have ungodly colleagues. We are afraid that when we talk to them, they will persecute us. Many of us, on our record, spiritual record, there has never been a soul that we have spoken to or win that soul. We are investing down here while the world is passing away. The Bible admonishes us to invest in the kingdom. To invest into heaven. But the way we live our life and the things we do. Can you raise your voice again? If you don't know what to do, ask God to help you. Open your eyes. If you know it, you are not doing it. Ask God, God have mercy, help me. Give me the boldness to do it. Give me the focus. Your light, is it dim or off? Is it on or off? In this world of darkness, sin increases when a righteous man's light is off. While we talk against the world, say there's so much sin. There's so much sin because we are refusing to, to shine into it. Our desire, said James, he said, God has not tempted anyone. If you are tempted, it's your own lies that lead you to it. We quench our lives by the things we do with the world by the life we live with the world the fame we watch and how we spend our time with the world we know much news on fame makers footballers sportsmen politicians than the heroes of the bible Why we should ask in the Holy Spirit to direct us, even when we have dreams, instead of asking the meaning from the Holy Spirit, these days, the believers of the church, they run to the internet and ask the internet, if you have dream a dog is following, what does he mean? We have lost it. The, pro the place of the prophet is missing. Confusion all around. The fourth line of Christianity is divided into selfishness.
because of what men want to gain. There's no one voice to say this is the way. But the Bible says, on that day, ye shall hear a voice behind you who will show you the way to walk. The Bible said there was a broad way that the ungodly will not walk therein. That the men that will walk on it, though they are they look foolish men, but in that way they will not err. Some of you you came to church, you think you came to a party. A church is a place of discipline, it's a place of correction, it's a place to educate you, a church. A church. While some of you should be crying and repenting, you cry because they don't speak to you well. These are the things quenching your light. While the apostles of old were receiving stone and they were thanking God, we were receiving correction and cursing our leaders. What a generation. You are asking God's grace and mercy that God help me in the path of righteousness. Help me in the path of righteousness. Keep me in the way of truth. Keep me in that way. While the wind of deception is all over the world, the men who have started what are failing, God keep me, keep me. The Bible concerning said concerning Lot, the Lord when he moved from Abraham, he was at the gate of Sodom. By the time you read down, this man at the gate of Sodom was now in the city of Sodom. We are migrating slowly to darkness. The prince of this world, the king of darkness, they are cooking things against you. We are in war. So you must be a true soldier and you must die at your post. You must be a true soldier and die at your post. Grace to finish war. 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 We heard a lot of stories of men that stood for the test of time. There were no men in the Guinness Book of the World because the way they live, Guinness Book of the World. I can never record them because their life look differently away from the world. People have given their back to privileges and opportunities and embraced the cross. People have moved away from their pleasure and leisure and embraced a tough life. Those men are men we should learn from. And when we say men, it's not only male that God uses. Women, 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 women. Women who have taken the covenant of suffering. <laughs> who have embraced the covenant of suffering. Who moved to a village, moved to a city. Who have dashed themselves to the purpose of God. These days, the church cry when we don't marry on time. We cry when we don't buy the car on time. We cry when we don't have this on time. But in those days, they are crying at the cry of souls. In those days, their tears are not the tears of jealousy, a tears of bitterness, not a tears, a tears of competitiveness. But they cry because they say, God, if you don't use us, kill us. Where are the intercessors? Who is praying for our world? There's darkness all around us. There's small light we carry. Can we run into it? 
Can we carry our light into it? Can we carry our light? There is something, the more you keep quiet on sin, your sin, the more you are at ease in your attitude, the more darkness is becoming gross and deep. Jesus said, is the light of this world. He said, a time is coming, it will take, it will be gone. And more than 2,000 years now, light has been off here. But Jesus wants to shine through me and you. He wants to shine. How is your heart? Can Jesus shine through the heart? What goes through our mind? Can Jesus shine through our mind? We are the transformers to carry ourselves to a village to make sure that there's a light there. We are the generators to carry ourselves to families so that there's a light there. Who are thou? Who are thou? Who are thou? What are you doing? Why darkness is multiplying? Will you hear this message and go home and just eat your banku, eat your rice and sleep? That's a way you can still affect your world while you are in your house. I heard a story of this man in America who had himself in a room for 14 years praying for repentance from America. 14 years, it doesn't come out. The day they bring him out, they say that was the day they were burying him. 14 years. Pastor Ado, God said he has made you a rock in the church for prayer. But you have moved away from there. A rock. Do you know what it means? If you allow the world and the system of the world, it will choke you. Why you should be flying like eagle? You will be living like a chicken. But let revival come to our life. Let it be a stirring that will shine again before the trumpet will sound. The Bible said concerning the Antichrist, that which holded him is still around. And many people think that is the church, others say the Holy Spirit. But whatever, I want to tell you that there's a way to live on earth that you make it difficult for the Antichrist to move. There's a way to live. While they carry John, Apostle John, they put him into hot fire. The man went to the hot fire but couldn't deny Jesus. I don't know what you have gone through for Christ yet. Some of you have never been through anything for Christ. The only thing you are going through is your fleshly desire. The only time you carry a pain when a boyfriend disappoints you. The only time you carry a pain when a girlfriend disappoints you. The only time you carry a pain when you lose a job appointment, a, a job opportunity. Another time that you cry is when you lost your money. Who will go see us heaven? I pray God will help us so that we do this work. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us. Help us to be your God. you pastor as I said something very powerful that it's painful to be impotent to what God has given you hallelujah what are you giving to God we read in the Bible that Peter gave his boots Matthew was a tax collector or collector he gave out his work hallelujah what are you giving? 
Because the time is coming that you wish to do more for him that you can't. The Bible says that the God of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. Hallelujah. Let's be careful and check our lives. He said the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. What is the devil having in you, against you? He said he's the accuser of the brethren, always standing before God and accusing us. The Bible said that in the book of 2 First John chapter 2, verse 15, as pastor said, that we should come out from among them. Hallelujah. Let's be careful and check our life. Amen. We are praying for pastor. We are praying grace. We are praying for restoration. We are praying that the Lord should strengthen him. The Lord should continue to use him for us in this end times we pray that the lord should give us grace to endure we pray for divine grace over his life pray for the divine restoration pray that the lord should continue to use him for us to continue to be a blessing for us and to stand in the gap for us Very soon he will be going again. We don't know what will happen over there, but we pray that the Lord should keep him. In his going and in his coming, the Lord should protect him and the family. Pray grace over him. Any will of the enemy concerning his life that says the Lord that it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass. We pray for an open heavens over his life. We pray that wherever he goes, the Lord should give him favor. The Lord should favor him in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, God willing, we'll be meeting at the park for prayers so let's come in our numbers and when you are coming to invite someone share the grace grace of our Lord Jesus